Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a haul of everything that I've got throughout the past month or so. I've actually been on a holiday and some of it is what I've bought from the airport and just things that I've taken on holiday with me that I've really liked. So I'll start with those first and today I've gone out and spent some money in Superdrug. So um, I'll show that in a minute. Um, right, so I'll just go ahead and show you some things that I bought before. I went on holiday. So I went into Victoria's Secret and I think there was an offer on, I completely forgot how much it was, it was like buy five of like the body lotion, body cream and the fragrances. These just um, fragrance mists and this is what they look like. This is actually, I haven't even used this yet but I think it's because I've obviously, well I think I've used a bit of it. This one is Amber Romance, um, Amber and Cream and Glaze Fragrance Mist and it just smells really nice. Amber and cream, uh, refreshing formulas infused with conditioning aloe vera and calming chamomile spray for a touch of scent. And I think this one is a little bit more musky, muskier than the other one I've bought. Yeah, it is, but it's still really nice and really refreshing. Um, then I bought, this one is my favorite scent. It's a mango temptation, mango nectar and hibiscus. This is my favourite one. It depends what kind of fragrance you like, because I think there's one for everyone there, really. And this is the body cream. There's a body lotion and a body cream, and I got the body cream. It looks like that. It's fairly thick. Mmm, it's so nice. So basically, on holiday, in the evening times, I would put on my after sun, and then sometimes I'd put this on as well. So I might put the after sun on my legs or my back, and then put this over my chest and my arms and then this I took absolutely everywhere this is why it's actually it hasn't been used all that much but this is the mango temptation body mist and it says refreshing formulas infused with conditioning aloe vera and calm and calm oh so they're both just the same um this one is really really good like I just I love the f I love the scent of it and I think it really brings it out when it goes over that and I put this in my beach bag so when you're sunbathing and you just <laughs> you kind of find yourself falling asleep and then you wake up and you're dripping and it's disgusting so I spray this over me at different times and I think oh I'll probably smell a bit right now so I just spray that all around and it's nice as well because you're sunbathing a lot of other people are too and it's just it's nice and it's kind of reminds me of summer now so that's good. Um, at the airport, I actually haven't got the box for it now. Um, oh yeah, when I went on holiday, I only took, I'm not sure if I've just said this, I only took these two with me because I didn't want it to be too heavy because obviously if I took another one, it would just be too heavy and it wouldn't be worth it. And I really wanted to buy a perfume at the airport. I've had my eye on this one for a while because um, about two years ago, I bought a perfume called Jimmy Choo Flash. I think, yeah, this silver one, I think it's in a silver box. And then I've just seen this one, it's Jimmy Choo Blossom. And this was from the airport, and I just thought it was really nice. It's completely different to the Flash. It's sweeter, it's a little bit lighter. I think the Flash is quite strong, although you get used to it. You always get used to perfumes. So, mm, it does smell really nice. It's a bit floral, a bit sweet. Um, and it's very light, which I like, and I love this one. I love the bottles that they come in as well, and the cute little lids. They're really nice, and it's pink. So, another thing I bought from the airport, I bought one of the Elizabeth Arden um, boxes with different things, and so it had a hand cream in, which I like the hand cream, but I'm not, like, overly keen on the hand cream. And then I've never actually tried Elizabeth Arden before, so I got the 8-hour cream, the mini one is a 30 mil and I was actually looking for a face mask at first to put on during the flight because your skin goes really dry so I took some face wipes with me to call my makeup off and then when we were on the flight I'm just I thought my skin it felt awful so I'm, I thought right I'm just gonna put this all over my face Elizabeth Arden um, eight hour cream I put just a tiny like drop in the middle of my hands and then put it all over my face and I was like oh my god this consistency is so greasy like it feels really thick and I turned to my husband and I said I said do I look really shiny he was like no you look fine I was like really so like, how can I not look shiny with that on but 
I went to the bathroom and checked and it just looked really kind of like like you just put a moisturiser on almost and it looked actually quite good. So I kept that on, I even kept that on until we got to the hotel with no makeup on because it just felt really good. And it was really nice, especially when you've been sunbathing all day and you might be sore in a few places. This is really good and sometimes I put this on um, before I went to bed, like under my eyes especially because they're very like delicate under there. Um, I also use this, which is the Elizabeth Arden Lip Protector Stick in SPF 15. It looks like this. And I'll put a bit on now. It's so nice and so creamy. It's lovely. Right, it's still, <laughs> my thing is still in these plastic bags. Um, okay, and then another thing I got before, I'm going to go on to like clothing, not clothing, shoes. Um, before I went on holiday, I saw these shoes in the sale in New Look and they didn't have it, them in my size, I only had them in one size, so um, I'm a three and a half normally, however, I thought I'd take a risk and just get a three because it's been a while since I bought shoes from New Look and I couldn't remember what kind of sizes they were. So I bought these um, wedges in a size three, they look like this, they're like purple, pink, all kind of multicoloured. They've got this kind of espadrille type look on the wedge, which I really like. And they've got the buckles on the side. I just really like them. I think they're really girly. And yeah, I like them a lot. Now the other shoes that I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing now. Um, so they might be a bit dirty. But these are leather, they're from June. I just thought these were really comfortable shoes to have on your holidays. Um, they were really, really comfortable. However, and you, you kind of have to wear them in, especially when they're leather. My left foot is fine. My right foot, they kind of rubbed along here for some reason. So I had to, I bought with me, um, oh, what are they called? The, um, the blister stickers. They're really, really good. I recommend taking some of those with a compede. That's what it was. If you're going on holiday and you think some shoes are going to rub, even if you don't think they're going to rub, it's, they're just useful to have. They're really good. Now, these ones are my favourites. Um, I actually looked at a pair that were like a hot pink colour, but then I decided that these would probably go with more things. And they're just so cute. Um, these are the Espadrille type um, shoes from June. And they look like this. They're like a rose gold colour, pink with these uh, crystals on the toe or all over and actually none of them have even come off they're leather everywhere and I've actually got an insole in them so in the bottom of them they're really really soft like if you just didn't have the insole in here it's just so soft and so nice and they don't like hurt me here because I've I heard like a lot of people say that they hurt here these are actually in a size 4 I think yeah 37 However, I got an insole to put in because I'm a three and a half and these are slightly too big. I mean, I could wear them without the insole, but they're just slightly too big for me. So I got these. I think these are about £30. I think the sandals were 25 I could be wrong. But yeah, I think they were that much. Um, I actually don't usually buy sandals like every single year. I once bought a pair of Ugg. Um, sandals, they were blue and they were so nice and really, really, really comfy. I think they were about £80, but they lasted four years. So I haven't bought any pairs other than that, like a really good expensive pair. So, yes, that's that. So the next thing, which I'm really excited about, I went to the good and I got, it looks like a few bags actually what I got. Now then. The first thing, we'll start off with the less exciting things. I've got some Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo, uplifting volume. Um, for my work, I always have to ha have my hair up. And sometimes we do long weekends, so we do eight to eight shifts. And that means working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, half of the time, I'd rather sleep in than wash my hair. It's re getting really, really, really long now, my hair. And it's so thick that, like, it, the ends are so dry and like up to about here is greasy and that's obviously the bit that you can see you know when you push your hair back and you're gonna about to put it in a bowl well I thought I'm gonna give this a go herbal essence dry shampoo lightweight no rinsing required citrus 
So I haven't actually tried this yet. Um, I'm going to try it and see if I like it. So I'm excited to try that. The next thing I got was a pedicure file because I haven't actually got one or a pumice stone. So I thought I would use one of these first and then I might be tempted to get one of those um, electric ones. Are they electric? Yeah, or the uh, rotating ball thing that you just kind of go, I don't know. They were one of those things anyway. Um, the next thing I got was some mascara. Lash Sensational Lash and Multiply Mascara because I've heard it's very good. And that's about it. I've heard it's very good from the person who I'm about to show the products from actually. So, oh, well, I hope I have. I hope it's the right one. Um, this is Scandal Eyes Precision Micro Eyeliner waterproof. Please be in black. I didn't actually test it. Yes, it's in black. So I'm running out of eyeliner so I got this one. It's got the thin tip to it and I've just done a little tester patch on my hand. And it looks like this. So it is very black and apparently it's waterproof. And this is by Rimmel London. And this is what it looks like. So I'm um, excited to try that with this mascara, which I hope is black as well. I hate it when you get it back and it's brown or blue or something. Right, and um, also I don't usually colour my eyebrows. However, I am actually from South America. I'm from Peru. And I think my eyebrows aren't really, or any eyebrows from South America, are very like dense. I know people with Asian like skin and Asian colouring are similar to me however the hairs are slightly different like when I look at one of my friends who I used to live with her eyebrows were so full and so nice and they were kind of quite a lot darker than mine were and a lot fuller and I thought mine aren't anything like that at all they're like wispy if you look at them they're a bit kind of like hardly there compared to my hair I've got like a big thick set of hair and then my eyebrows are just wisps. So I thought, right, it's time to colour them in. So I got this Maybelline New York Master Shape Brow Pencil Crayon. I didn't really want to go with one of the ones that you immediately put over your, um, like, just draw, like, what are they called? It's like a mascara and then you just kind of push, put it on. I'm not really that confident yet with it. It comes with this which I think looks quite cool. So I guess once you've drawn on this, you can blend it. So that's exciting. I'm excited to try that. And the next thing... Oh wait, I'll just finish off. I've got some extra whites for clean and white teeth chewing gum. Extra. Is by Zoella. And Zoella Beauty. Now I've actually been looking for a makeup bag for so long, like I wanted one before I went on holiday and I actually bought one from TK Maxx but that was mainly to hold like these things in and my shampoos and, and all that kind of stuff but obviously if you're going away my makeup bag, everyone's makeup bag always gets like messy and I've just wanted one so this is the one I bought um, by Zoella, I think it was £8 pounds. Um, so yeah and I haven't even looked at the bag yet, I think she does a pink one and then she might do three kind of makeup bags, but um, yeah, let's have a look inside it. Oh, I love the colour inside it, and it's really good because it comes, the zip actually comes quite far down, because the one I've got now is like, the zip only comes from here to here, but that's what the inside looks like, and I might even put a makeup that I bought today inside it. So there we go, and it's got the eyes on. I think there was another one I was really tempted to get. It was a guinea pig one, but I like this one. I think it was nice. And I know pink is like one of my favourite colours, but I thought it'd be different. And I'll get this. So it's really nice, and I love the smell. It just smells like plastic, though. <laughs> um, then I bought. I really wanted to buy the exfoliator, but because I've still got a tan from um, Turkey, I don't really want to exfoliate. I just want to keep on moisturising. So. With that, I got Creamy Medley Dreamy Body Lotion by Zoella. Totally tempting dream cream for a smooth and silky body. 
Fresh and girly, this indulgent body lotion will pamper your skin with a gorgeous scented creamy cuddle, enriched and vit with vitamin E, aloe and shea butter to soften and condition the body because your skin needs a bit of love too. Massage into clean skin until fully absorbed with soft and fragrant skin. Just sounds like Zoella, doesn't it, in a tube. So, if I can open it without... Oh, it's got one of those um, things on it so it doesn't go everywhere. That's good. Not all of them have it, and it's really annoying as well because when you're trying to test things in the um, in the shop and then you're trying to look at the back to see, well, look towards the back to see which one hasn't been opened yet. I can't open it. Right, okay, I'm going to have to test that later. <laughs> right, and the next thing I've got is the Zoella Let's Spritz Fragrance Body Mist. This is amazing. I actually smell, I always smell the lids of them before I like squirt them all around. This is the one with the blue lid. There's another one that's slightly different and I think that one was a bit spicier. This one I think is really good. It's a nice daytime fragrance. I think, again, I think this was £8, so I think that's quite reasonable, reasonably priced. Um, and also, like, Zoella, I, I think she, like, when I saw, when I went to Superdrug and I saw the little stand, there was so many girls around it. I think there was about two or three girls, and they were all completely different. Not one of them was trying to copy Zoella, not one of them was trying to imitate or anything. Like, in my head, that's how I imagine there'll be all little Zoellas, like, all around the stand, but there wasn't. Every single girl that was around there was completely different. They had their own style. There was a girl there that was really punky. There was a girl there that was really girly, long blonde hair and um, makeup on. And there was completely different. And obviously me, but like I feel like I'm not in in that kind of group because they were under 14 years of age, and I am 26. So, but I still I love it, and I think these are really good, especially when I'm at work, and um, it's just nice to have something to smell good. It makes you feel good. So I'm going to give it a, a try now. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells really refreshing. You know what? It doesn't actually smell too different from this mango temptation. Unless it's just because I've sprayed it around a few times. So I'll have to let it it. Anyway, this is what it looks like. This is the bottle. It's so pretty. I love the lid. I love the polka dots on the lid and it looks really nice. So I'm happy with that. Mm. It's almost a bit sea salt if that makes sense. It's almost like it reminds me of a beach. Anyway, so I really, really like that. I'm trying to get into the uh, body moisturizer. I think I have. I've got it right. Hold on. Um, worried it's gonna go everywhere. Right. This is what the body moisturizer looks like. It's thick and white. And I'm just rubbing it all over my hand. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells really nice. It almost smells a bit like a fake tan. <laughs> But it's nice. No, I like it. And I like the consistency. It's quite thick. It'd be really nice on your legs. Yeah, I really like that. Um, sorry, this video is going to be so long because I'm there testing them with you. Uh, yeah, I really like that one. Body lotion is really, really creamy. So I got that and they were the, like my most... Oh, those three items were the things that I was most excited about showing because um, I've watched Zoella. In fact, I remember watching Ingrid and Fleur de Force first and then I heard a lot about Zoella and I think this must have been in like 2010, I think. I remember watching one or two videos and she wasn't quite as popular then. However, I kind of was going in YouTube and then coming out of YouTube and then just, you know, and then all of a sudden I thought, I think I was speaking to my niece about Zoella and we're like, oh my God, you love Zoella. And yeah, I'm just going to sound weird now, so I'll stop. Right, I went into Accessorize and I wasn't even going to go into Accessorize, but 
I don't know, you just walk past and you just want to go in for a browse, don't you? Because it just looks so good. And I bought only one thing, actually, from Accessorize, and it was a belt, because I thought it would actually go with a dress that I've got over there. It's a white dress. However, I always like to have a belt with it just to kind of cinch in your waist. It was 70% off, so it was originally £22 and reduced to £6.60. And I'm only just checking it now to see what I'm going to see that the crystals aren't moved from it, but it's so nice. And all along here is all the crystals. And it's in like a beigey colour, the actual waistband here, it's very stretchy. It's in a beigey colour and it's got poppers here for the back. So you can just pop those together like this. I actually thought, I was like looking for the medium to large belts because I was like, I'm not going to fit in a small. But this, the medium to large were more expensive if, the, I don't know, unless there were different belts. Uh, but um, I tried this on and it fit me perfectly. It didn't even really need to stretch that much. So I think they're quite big fitting. Um, but I'm really excited to wear this with my dress. I might wear it on Monday because I think we're going out for lunch. So that's everything from a haul. I've obviously spent quite a lot of money on these things, but they've all been in different kind of periods. I mean, today um, I just wanted something smelly and nice. So yes, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you want to leave a comment about any of the things, if you've bought any of Zoella's items, I'd really like to know and I'd really like to see videos of everybody who's um, tried and tested different fragrances, different body lotions. And I like the, real, the fizz bars as well, but I don't really have a lot of baths, so I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope everybody has a good day and thank you for watching. Bye.